Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we are talking about the top eight wedding accessory trends that I saw during New York Bridal Fashion Week. Before we dive into this week's topic, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, drop me a comment below, let me know if there's a particular topic you'd like me to create a video on. I am here for you, guiding you along the way, leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. Don't forget to hit that follow button on TikTok at Lavella Bridal and at Wedding Fashion Expert as well. In the beginning of April, I was in New York during New York Bridal Fashion Week, and I wanted to go over the top accessory trends I saw for the bride while I was there. Accessory trend I spotted number one is going to be veils with texture. We saw such intricate details and veils that had these really beautiful manipulated fabrics of texture throughout, which is not something that we typically see. Oftentimes veils have a beautiful satin trim, a raw edge of it just being tulle, sparkle detail, lace detail, pearl detail, or even ribbon. There's also like a satin trim or like an organza trim or a horsehair trim, not literal horsehair. It's a type of material that has the texture texture of what a horse's hair feels like, but it is a type of material that helps to manipulate if they're doing designs with fabrics and skirts or even on a veil. So typically we see all these different type of materials that are combined with a tulle veil. However, this season we spotted lots of veils with texture. I hope you enjoy some of the looks that we spotted. Friend number two that we spotted at Maria Elena Headpieces is a personalized headband. This was such a cool piece because you can put your new initials or the first initial of your name and the first initial of your fiance's name. It was just such a cool little component where you get this sparkle detail, you get a headpiece. It's a type of accessory to wear that you get to personalize. I especially loved how this was in a headband form because this is something you really could wear again. If you went out for date night, put on a cute outfit, throw this headband band on. It's so gossip girl moment to wear a headband. And why not? It's something that you could have for a lifetime and pass down for generations. I really, really loved this piece from Maria Elena Headpieces and I thought that this was extremely creative. If this is a piece that you are interested in, you can hop on MariaElenaHeadpieces.com and take a look to see what stores carry their collection. Not every store is going to purchase this piece, but you could always order it through them. So I highly recommend that and it's such a cool little feature. You can even wear this for your bridal shower or any pre-wedding events like the rehearsal dinner or maybe you're doing a brunch after the wedding. This doesn't necessarily need to be worn on wedding day but it could be a great heirloom piece for you to pass down and have and wear to some sort of an event that you are hosting leading up to your wedding or post-wedding. Even the honeymoon. It's just a really cool piece. Trend number three is accessories with fabric. We mentioned trend number one being veils with fabric. We also saw this come through and to light through headpieces, which is a beautiful thing. If you saw last week's video on my trend on wedding dresses, we saw a lot of wedding dresses with texture, mixing that in with the veil that has texture, matching it, styling it with a headpiece with texture. Such a beautiful fashion story and moment. I hope you enjoy some of the looks that we saw during Fashion Week with headpieces with texture. Trend number four is pearl 
chokers. Pearl chokers are so hot right now. A lot of our designers are designing dresses that have pearl on it. Styling it and pairing it with a pearl choker really would tie the look together. If you have binge watched all of my videos on my channel, you know that I am not a huge fan of wearing a necklace on wedding day because I believe that your headpiece and your veil takes the spot of a necklace being worn on wedding day. However, I also mentioned in my videos that you should try everything and see what resonates with you the most. Give the choker a try. Even if you didn't wear it on wedding day, like I mentioned before, you could incorporate this for a pre or post wedding look as well. I hope you enjoy some of these inspirations. Bow details. Bows are so hot right now, we're seeing them everywhere. You're seeing so many influencers on social media putting a ribbon of a bow in their hair. Bows on dresses, we see them in wedding dresses and also in ready to wear all the time. Bows are just really popular right now. So of course there are going to be bow details. I think one of my favorite things I spotted during fashion week when it comes to bows is bow pearl earrings and also bow rhinestone styled earrings which i'm going to show you in just a moment but i thought that this was a really cool way to incorporate bows through jewelry i hope you enjoy Trend number six is micro crowns. This is the perfect, perfect, perfect piece to consider for a bride who wants to wear a headpiece, but wearing a true tiara feels a little too much and over the top. A micro crown is going to give you that tiara look without that over the top feeling, giving you a really balanced and beautiful look. I personally am a huge fan of a micro crown and Maria Elena headpieces micro crowns especially are so beautifully made. They are all handmade in Miami. They never tarnish. All the Maria Elena pieces that I am showing you never tarnish. They are heirloom pieces to pass down for generation. My cousin actually got married in a Maria Elena headpieces crown in 2007. She still has it and her daughter daughters play dress up with it and it will be passed down for generations to come. Another thing that I really love about the crowns is that you could take the crown and flip it upside down. So while a crown would be worn on top, you could flip it backwards and wear it as a half piece behind with an updo. And you could even do that on wedding day. You could wear for ceremony, you could have it facing up with your veil behind and then do a change where you take the veil off for reception, flip the crown backwards and have the detail behind for a second look. Huge fan of that and I hope you enjoy some of these images and videos of micro crowns. Trend number seven, we are seeing this season white infused headpieces. So that means you are getting a little bit of less crystal, more pearl or white bead gems detail to really soften the piece up a little bit, adding a different type of texture and look. I style so many brides with pieces that have a little bit of pearl and crystal detail. This is probably one of my favorites. I feel like I keep saying that, but I genuinely mean it. I really, really love 
headbands and headpieces that have a little bit of white detail. I think that it softens it and it makes it have such a romantic feel. I also love the contrast on hair. Regardless of your hair color, I like the contrast of the metals with the white infused detail along with some sparkle. I think that that adds a lot of dimension, looks super stunning in photo, video, and in person. I highly recommend giving that a try when you're trying on dresses and looking at accessories for wedding day. Enjoy some of this inspiration. Last but not least, trend number eight. We are seeing lots of pearl detailed earrings along with ear cuffs. So you can really have all this fun playing with the different textures and the different style of jewelry. And it doesn't have to just be an earring, but also a cuff to go alongside it. I hope you enjoy this beautiful imagery as inspiration of something to consider to style your wedding day look with. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can clearly see that I am attached to Maria Elena headpieces, earrings, jewelry, everything that they have to offer. At Lavella Bridal, we have an extremely large collection of their designs. They just go so beautifully with wedding dresses and their earrings are double-sided, so it has sparkle in the front and sparkle in the back. They are designed specifically for wedding attire and not to mention lots of bridesmaids, mother of the bride, mother of the grooms they love them as well and you can wear them after your wedding so it's the one piece of your wedding attire that you get to wear after wedding day and I wear them all the time whenever I have a formal event I even compete with them when I show my horses and it's just really stunning pieces everyone's always complimenting me on them because they are so unique and you can't just buy them anywhere you have to be buying them in a specialty bridal boutique and that's what makes them so exclusive along with the fact that you're supporting a brand that is a small business and also made in the United States in Miami. It's just so awesome and they do distribute worldwide so you don't need to be in the U.S. to be able to get your hands on these unique pieces. For more videos and tips like these, please be sure to tune in every Wednesday 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and I will see you in next week's video.